live. Live. You're live. Hello, everybody. You're live in the bunker. <laughs> Woo. Here, let's turn that like that so you guys don't get that crazy light. You're like, Holy smokes. Okay, now, uh, wait a minute. How do I get that? Just hang on. How do I get you guys? Wait a minute. I got to get you guys over here. How's everybody doing? I just got to get this set up. Hang tough. What does this mean? Okay. Trying to get this set up. What does this mean? Customize? No. No. Interesting. Why can't I get this over, friends? How come I can't get that over? Okay. Huh. I can't see the comments, so I'm wondering how I get those comments over here, friends. Just a sec. Let's see if this will work. Ah, there we go. I got it. I figured it out, friends. How's everybody? Darren Jackman. Darren. Oh, you made it, buddy. Wait. Friends, that looks pretty good, doesn't it? How's 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 everything? How's the Wi-Fi? Yeah. Okay, everything's good. Good, good, good. Oh, look at the fireplace back there, friends. Oh yeah. Come on. He's a maniac, maniac, I sure know, he's a maniac, he's a maniac. <laughs> Fire! Fire! Ba -ba -ba. Give you fire! Come on, fire! I give you fire. The crazy world of ours is wrong. You know what? The laptop's the ticket, isn't it, friends? Hey, isn't it? Wow. Snowman. Johnny Moore. I love it. Hey, Eric, Robbie, how are you, buddy? How are you doing? Good to see you. I see you made some comments on the in the comment section. Friends, I got a humdinger, a humdinger of a video coming up for you after the live feed. Simon, Simon Point Pointner. Throw a shrimp on the bar before you bucking. <laughs> Good man. Thanks, buddy. Look at this. Power stroke pullers here. Good to see you, Bucking. Good to see you, Tomahawk. Tree Service, Timothy Denning, greetings from Alabama, Sasha, Tom Lely, Walter, Walter's a hell of a man, Sean Wirtz here, Digger, Lisa, hi Buckin', that's an old song, we got our two wood stoves going too, Massachusetts, do you know what friends, I could never say that word, Massachusetts. Did you hear what I just said? I'm not joking. Masha two shits. I don't know how to say it. Masha. Masha. Sh I can't say Masha two shits. <laughs> oh. Good afternoon, Jay Payne. Ross Newman. Great to see you, buddy. I hope everybody's doing good, man. Oh, man. Friends, we hit 45,000, friends. Can you believe it? Sometime last night or early this morning. Oh, there's the bellhopper. Christine. Hey, Christine, what did you say there? Just hang on now. Just a minute here now. 
Look at this, friends. Check that out. I got you on the laptop. Christine, what did you say? I, I didn't see your... The comments are coming in like crazy, friends. Holy smackeronies. There's Smelly Robert. Gotta like Smelly Robert. Smelly Robert. You know what? I've got all my paperwork inside the house, but I'm going to do something. Let's do this. Smelly Robert, I want you to tell me exactly what you wanted in an axe again so I can put it in the bunker. It's in the house. Hang on. You see how I turn the pages, eh, friends? Don't lick your fingers. You never know where the hell they've been. Little Scottish mist always works good for me. I've been doing that since I've been a kid. Whoa, Buckin's number one fan. How are you doing, Buckin? I'm good, Michael. Ha <laughs> ha. Good to see you. Say hi to Josh for me. Sasha, here you are a performer, Billy. Here you are a performer, Billy. Sasha Crimea. Crimea. I don't know. I don't know if I am or not. Landfill. Good to see you, Landfill Rat. Okay, Smelly Robert. I, I've got you written down in the house on your axe style. But I want you here. Where are you? Where's Smelly Robert? I'm waiting for him to tell me what kind of an axe he wants. So I, oh, there's Sammy Dean, the crazy Sammy Dean. Barbaric double. Oh, yes, that's right. Well, as a matter of fact, it's Patrick, isn't it? Smelly Robert. Your name's Patrick. Isn't that correct? Tell me. Give me the big hell yeah if it is. I know it's Patrick. It's got to be. Smelly Robert? You'd think it would be Robert. Isn't that right? Jack Snedden, how are you? I'm going to show you something right now. This is no joke. This is straight up no joke. Patrick, I made your axe last night. Yesterday, I made your axe. And I'm going to tell you something. And this is no free. Hey, Thomas Lely. Looking forward to Buckingstock, friends. Thomas, speaking of Buckingstock, we were, uh, me and the decal and the landfill rat had a three-way conversation on conversation in Massachusetts on Saturday, <laughs> which was yesterday in Massachusetts on Saturday. Uh, we were talking about uh, the Buckingstock being down towards Massachusetts. But we've decided to go Michigan because it's not near Massachusetts. Thank you for your super chat. The Lawn Man. Now, here's a man, the Lawn Man. Don't forget to like the video. Oh, oh, I see. Hey, Tyler the Squid. Friends, Tyler the Squid said, don't forget to like the video. He said you got to put a thumbs up. And, and if you've seen the size of this man, you don't want to play around with this fella. There's Blaze Star Enterprise. I can't stay long. Got a major storm rolling in. Going to be up all night. Your package should be there on the 5th. Friends, Blazing Star Enterprises just shot a super chat in. Let's give them a hell yeah. Right on. Thanks, Josh. Hey, Buckin. Good to see you, Jeremy Bell. Friends, the freaking comments are coming through like crazy. Smelly Robert, are you ready? Way to go, Blazing. Blazing's a hell of a man. He's a hell of a man. He's supported the channel a ton. He supports my mom's music. He just is a guy that wants to help. He's a good, good guy. Mr. Frioli. Frizzoli. Smelly Robert, guess what? It's coming. Now, I know you, you people see me going crazy all the time. I'm always excited about life. And, oh, dear, the machinist just did a freaking $5 super chat. Look at him. The machinist. Love from Montana. Hey, machinist. Thanks, buddy. I got to go back. Pretty proud of them. Axes. My first two axes last weekend. Hey, good for you, bud. Keep up with it. It's such good fun. Don't if don't be afraid to go on off, on off a ton of times. That's the ticket. Go on off, on off, on off all the time. Oh. 
There we go. The Merc is good, football. The Merc is good. Whoa, Aaron Moreau, love to you and the family bucking. Friends, Aaron Moreau. Aaron, what a guy. Aaron, I love you, buddy. Whoa, Trey. Friends, we got to thank the Super Chatters. They're coming like crazy. Thanks, you guys. <laughs> hey, friends, Ranger Rider TV is asking me to shout his channel out. Ranger Rider TV. Now, Ranger Rider, were you doing the tractors? Is that what you were playing around with, the tractors? There's the two mule. Two mule. What did you drive today, Michael? Hi, Darwin. Sammy Dean is in the house. Yeah, I know he is. That's scary when Sammy Dean shows up. Love the videos. Hi there from Germany. Hi, Alex. Uh, TJ Rollins. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate it. I got a humdinger coming up for you guys. I'm probably yelling, aren't I? Damn it. Smelly, I can't keep... I Smelly Robert, I can't keep you going on much longer. I got to show you this. Uh, blurkity, blurkity, thank you. When you do that, I appreciate it, my friend. Thank you for thanking those super chatters for me. I miss them sometimes, so thank you so much, buddy. So I'm digging around, friends. I got a fella. He says, I'm looking for something barbaric. He says to me, because old Buck and Billy Ray, I think I kind of, I don't like to say I pioneered stuff, but when I came on building axes, the barbaric theme was close to my heart. That's kind of where the buck and special originated. Barbarism. Beat up old vintage steel that needs another life. You know what I mean? I found this freaking head, Smelly. Look at this thing. And I swung it yesterday. I don't know if you can see it in this camera that well. It's a freaking true temper, buddy. No, it's a plum. It's a plum. Pardon me. Look at. Look at it. It's crazy, buddy. It it is. It's literally crazy. <laughs> <laughs> and it's solid like beautiful axe I made her for you buddy she's done If any of you friends follow my Instagram, my Instagram channel is starting to grow a little bit or page or whatever you call it. I don't know what you call it, to be quite freaking honest with you. Darwin Scott, that axe is a monster. It's four pounds of plum and it's it's crazy. It's like it sat in the, oh my goodness. Shawshank is here. Shawshank, hello buddy, how are you? Smelly, it's going to swing like mad. I, I've already tested it out. It's mad. It's, it's absolutely mad. It's beautiful. It's got an interesting profile. I'll show you something. Okay, you would, you would look at this and you would think, geez, it's kind of narrow. It's not. It's actually got fat. It's fat right here. See it right here? See how it does this? And then it fattens out right there? It just comes right out of the wood beautifully. You're going to love it, my friend. I'm excited to see you folks today. Oh, Gainsey, 10. Gainsey with a sawbuck. The man, he's consistent as the light's going on in the morning. Gainsey, how are you, buddy? Good to see you. <laughs> I love it. Gainsey's. Whoa. Holy. Sh wow. Whoa. Charlie in Wyoming bound. Holy cow. You guys, thank you so much. That's great. Thank you. <laughs> you guys are nuts. Friends, can we thank those people, the Super Chatters? Thank you, guys. Thank you. Look at this thing. Look at this. If you're on my Instagram, you'll remember this little sucker. Look at this thing. You want to talk barbaric? 
24 inch handle. Look at that sucker. Backpack. Oh, it's a beauty. I love this thing. I don't know if this is going anywhere. That's a tough decision. Of course it's going somewhere. That's a low harp, isn't it? I got to do a snot slinger. Ever try to blow harp when you got a cold? Dennis, your package from me should be there soon. Dennis, thank you for the super chat, buddy. That's a low, low harp. I think that's like a B flat or something. <laughs> Yeah, it is the B flat. <laughs> All right. Okay. <laughs> Sasha Cron Billy. Whoa. No problems. Dennis, thank you so much, buddy. Truly, thank you. I, friends, I didn't like missing last week. I, I like to try and get on there as much as I can. Bucking from UK joined about a month ago. Love the channel. Hey, Ramsey, thanks for joining. I love you guys over in the UK. Love ya. Thank you so much. I'll be coming to the UK. My plan is, is to get over and see you guys. Maybe have some kind of a buck and stock over in the UK. Evidence of a fabulous life. Shawshank. Shawshank, I miss you, buddy. Tim, are you going to come and see us, Tim? I'm going to do my best, Jack. I truly am. Redneck. Oh, Christine. Yeah, if there's any, anybody wants to talk axes or anything, just shoot email, buckandbillyray.com. Maybe, he says. Shawshank says maybe. I don't know if I can. I want. Shawshank. Man, oh, man. What a trip that was, eh, buddy? <laughs> Oh, I just, I was thinking about it a couple of days ago, Tim. What a blast you and I had. I miss your face, buddy. I do. Logan. Oh, no. Here he goes, Sammy Dean. Sammy says, Wills remembering to thumbs up this video. Also remember to share. Looking slick there, Bucken. Why, thank you very much, Sammy Dean. Friend Sammy Dean just super chatted very generous. Whoa, Boggs. <laughs> Boggs, thank you, buddy. Thank you guys so much. Sammy Dean. Thank you, Sammy. Let's not forget to, to thank the super chatters. Whoa, howdy, fellas. Good to see the crowd back. How many we got? I haven't even looked. What do we got on, friends? I can't read this. How many? Seth, thank you, buddy. Thanks, Seth. <laughs> Love it. Seth's a hell of a fella. He's a hell of a fella. His name is Seth. He's got a hell of a fella named Seth. 
Chris Clark, Bones is in the house. Oh, 242. Nice. Cool. Two mule team. Man, oh man. Darwin Scott. Steve Goldsmith. Let's get those thumbs up, Steve said. Yeah, I think he's right, friends. What 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 do we what do you guys want? You you guys want to see a, a rare, rare power saw? A very, very rare, rare power saw. Hmm. I'll bet you do, don't you? Florida, how you doing there, Randy? Whoa. Everybody wants to see a power saw that's very rare. Well, I'm going to go get the sucker right freaking now. But if I get back from my shop and we've got any less than 200 thumbs up, I'm not firing nothing. Thumbs up, better be up there. I'm telling you. Oh, ho, 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 ho. not bad. Hey, you guys done pretty good. I'm proud of you. It's 197. We need a couple more. Oh, you guys did it. You did it. I'm proud of you, Jason Hardman. I can't believe it. You guys did it. Look at this. Carrots and thumbs. Freddy's here. Freddy V. Thanks, Freddy. Simon, big buck 10 with the carrots. Kyra King, nail bender. Nail bender. Love you, brother. Love you. I want that RV cap. Whoa, Lisa. Fucking you're the great caring person. You deserve this. Oh, <laughs> Lisa, thank you so much, darling. Lisa, how are you feeling, by the way? Has everything mellowed out? Are you feeling okay, Lise? I hope so, darling. Kurt Court, wood chopper. Drop starter that sucker, he says. Ha <laughs> ha. It's the only way to do it, brother. Hi, Damon. Oh, I love you, nail bender. Love you. This is so cool, friends. This is this is crazy. <laughs> this is crazy. Awesome. I feel great. Thanks for asking. Look at Lisa. Hey, she's feeling good. Right on, Lisa. Decals in the house. Now, have you guys ever seen... Whoa, Bobby, let's hear the saw run. Oh, ha, ha, ha. Bobby 88. Now, have you guys ever in your entire lives ever seen anything like this? Be honest. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> I'm kidding. I do have a rare saw. Okay, it's getting freaking warm, friends. I'm telling you right now, it's getting warm in here. Yeah. Have you guys seen my son? My son? Have you seen have you seen him out there on the logs with the power saws and stuff? He's doing good, eh? He's doing good. Hey Braden, how are you? Braden, good to see you, buddy. Timidator, the Mac Attack. Moose 40. Wow, we got some heavy hitters. Isael Vazquez, Vazquez, thank you, sir. Thank you very much. My hair, uh, my hair stylist, Bev, she's been wanting to give me the new look for a long time now. I thought I would give her the opportunity to give me a new hairdo. I'm quite enjoying it. Needs to grow out longer, friend, so I can slick her back. Slick as snot.
Okay, tell me what you think this is. Who's having fun? Come on. You got to be honest with me. Who's having bloody fun here? <laughs> I sure am. Who thinks they know what this is? Whoa. Hey. Friends, hang on a second here. I missed a super chat and I don't recall the name. Sayama. Sayama. Bucking, you are an inspiration. Your saw filing videos have helped me tremendously. I'm excited for the future of your videos. Sayama Lee. Sayama, thank you so, so much. Seriously, thank you very, very much. I appreciate that. Thank you. I really appreciate that, and I'm glad those videos have helped you out. It's helped a lot of people that get the gullet. So thank you for saying that. Did you hear that? <laughs> Did you guys hear that? <laughs> okay. So. What this is, friends. Yeah, it's. It's McCulloch's. Um shot at a, a, a big homeowner's firewood saw. That's kind of the, the, the news <clears throat> on the street, right? I stepped on a duck nail bender said, yeah. Uh, it's what it is, friends, is it's a Super Pro 105 and it's a hundred and oh my dear Lord, did I just miss something again? I hope I didn't. Thank you to the super chatters from my heart, from the channel. Thank you all so much. This is going straight to Buckingstock. Thank you. Now, what this is, friends, this came from a very close friend of ours, by the way. Excuse me. It hasn't been run in a long time. I got it the other day. I put it, kind of did some stuff. It was running very erratic. It had some parts missing, but I had the parts. It didn't have a compression button. You know what I mean? It didn't have the compression button. I had one from an 850. I stuck it in there. I think it's leaking gas somewhere here and there. I don't know. Yeah, it is. I can see it here. Let's see if it'll run. So it runs, but it won't calm down, right? Here. Let's go out here. <laughs> ah, there we go. Woo! Look at the day, friends. Huh? Ah, look at the day. Whoa. Okay, Flashy, starting up a business. Happened to stumble across your videos. Watch 30 videos already. Keep being awesome. Hey, thanks, buddy. Thanks for thanks. Welcome to the welcome to the community, Flashy. With a name like Flashy, buddy, you're all over it. Good man. Good for you for opening up your business. I was just talking to the boys about it. The young fellas out the back climbing the trees. 
Look at this. See this? She's going together, friends. She's going together. So that 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 truck, that Mercury. Oh, you guys are over here, aren't you? Does it is it weird when I look that way, or does it matter to you guys? It doesn't matter that much, does it? That uh, that Mercury. It packs a quart of wood. You you know you guys when you see me come home with those big loads in the Merc, right? Um, here let's get that right. There we go. Um, that truck right there, it packs a quart of wood. The way you see me stack it, it packs a cord. I measured it. It came up 134 cubic feet, which is over a cord, actually. <laughs> yeah, it's cool. So the boys are out the back climbing trees here. I don't know if the... Uh, I'm really proud of my son. Let me know if the Wi-Fi suffers, okay, friends? Yeah, let, let, let me know. As soon as it suffers, I'll, I'll bolt back. Here's the boys. Oh, there's Ganges is on the ground. Oh, no, Ganges is climbing. Friends, have you still got Wi-Fi? Wi-Fi still good? Is that Blaze Brogan? It is Blaze Brogan. Hey, buddy. No problems. Okay, that's good. Let me know. Hi, boys. Here's the boys climbing the stems. Hey, there they are. Yeah, they're doing they're doing good. Okay, let's get her back here. What's that? Hogan's asking how everybody's doing. Yeah, I, I, I do. I have a lot of wood. I, uh, Hogan, Hogan asked you guys how you were doing. Yeah, Tony, I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy with, with him. Yeah, he's doing good. Hey, boy. They all said they're doing pretty good. Tyson says hi, too. Tyson's his buddy, and, and Tyson works for a big company. Yeah. Okay, good. Okay, so, so, so the plan is James Ledemsma. Look at James Ledemsma, Freds. Homeless Scooby. Oh. 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 I had my shoulder kind of go out on me the other day a little bit. Better now, though. All right. How's my fire? Looks like it needs a hand. Yeah, it does. That's a good thing about having a wood floor in here. You can let her fly left and right all over the place. No, I'm kidding you. Actually, no, I'm not. Smelly Robert, are you still hanging around here? <laughs> Sasha. Sasha Crima. Top cut. Hey, Buck, and I admire your old school ways in a young buck. But have you wood to split? I would love to see you split some with my double. I did split some with your double. That stuff. There actually, you know what? There might be. There might be. I think we might have that opportunity. Do you guys mind if I take um hang on a second? Just hang on. Top cut tree service. Hey Bucking. I admire your old school ways 
in a young buck, but love your methods taught me so much. Top Cut Tree Service. Hey, Top Cut, thanks for being here in the community with us. You sound like a positive young man. Very good you're here. Thank you so much for the words. Um, yeah, is it okay to go swing Smelly's axe around, friends? Is that okay? <clears throat> Yeah, we'll go. We'll go take a poke. I gotta dig one out though. It's uh, we split it, most of it, but I know there's a couple under there because they were they rolled over and went into the shed. So let's take Smelly's double bit and go out and crack it. Straight grain wood, as you guys know. So our plans with that power saw, friends. Our plans. I'm gonna take it up to my old buddy Bear Claw. He used to have 40 of these suckers, the, the 125s, not the 105s. He wasn't even sure what the hell it was, to be honest with you. So it's basically the 125, but it's got 106, I think it's got 106.5 cc or something like that. Uh, it, it's a neat power saw. It, it is a neat power saw, but it's not got lots of poop. Um, did you guys, oh, here, here we go, here we go. Here's a piece we can split. Oh yeah, here we go. We got We got a couple, just hang on here, just hang on. Yeah, see, look at that. That's a good sign right there. Look at that. I just dropped it in the wood and she stuck in. You want to have a little bit of that action, friends. You know, you want to have a little bit. You don't want it all bouncing out all the place. Here, let's get you guys set up here. On a... It's still freaking cold where I'm at, friends. I will split wood until the day I'm done. This I know. Here, let's put you guys here like this. Now, we got to make sure you don't go flying down there. Now. How's this? Does everybody see everything okay? Check this out. You guys may as well check out the flick while you're here, right? Check it out. Watch what happens when I let go of the handle. I'm going to do the flick. Watch what the handle does. You see that? I let go of it. Let's go through the knot. See that? This thing splits, buddy. I'm not joking you. It's freaking deadly.
Okay. What do you think? <laughs> I like slitting wood, friends. I have no fear about swinging somebody's axe, brand new or not. When you got the flick under your belt, it don't matter. It don't. Look at that fire going back there now, friends. I love double bits. See, they work better than a single bit when you're doing the flick, friends, right? You know what I'm talking about? Thanks, Kurt. I appreciate it. Um, friends, I've been doing this a long time. So that's not, you know, I just flip around there like a leprechaun because it's just second nature to me. I'm not trying to, I'm not, it's just how I do it. I, I've been doing it my whole life. So I, it, it's just how I do it. I don't set logs up. I just swing. I don't, wherever it's at, I just swing. If it's not in the right place for me, I crack it with the ax, I set it up, I smash it. I don't spend any time bending over, playing around with wood. I use the tool that's in my hand. So that's just what I do. Freestyle, exactly. That's a good word for it, plum lucky. You're plum lucky, that's right, plum lucky. Yeah. Smelly, listen. Smelly, I love freaking axes, you know this. This thing right here, this this is hard to give away. I'll be honest with you. I'm starting to get a problem. I'm starting to like axes more than I've already liked them forever. That's a problem. What do we got for thumbs up? We got 237 people and 254 thumbs up. Are you telling me that... Is there somebody there that hasn't hit the thumbs up yet? After all that outside in that cold, cold weather, walking to school both ways, in the snow, uphill. Ah, thank you. Yeah, friends. That's what I'm talking about. That just warmed me right up. Oh, I love it. Two ninety, holy smoke! Somebody was sitting back having a coffee. Speaking of that, do you know what my son did, friends? Do, do, do you know what the little bugger just did for me? We just came from the park cutting trees, right? Okay. One blew over. I come home. I'm like Hogan. I gotta get. I gotta go live. I gotta get. I gotta get out in the bunker and go live to see my friends. But I said. I, I'm I I would I like a coffee. Freaking guy brings me out a coffee. My son brings me a coffee. You know, that's man, oh man, what a treat. What a nice fella. Okay. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm just coming out of a cold, friends. I don't know if you've noticed in the last couple of videos. I've been kind of nasally. I'm just coming out of it. So excuse the sniffles. It's either wham or or sniff it up. So <clears throat> <clears throat> There we go. Hey, um, have you guys ever heard of a, a ox head? You guys have heard of ox head, right? Where's the freaking camera on this thing? Snot rockets. I like that. So where is it? Oh, okay. So. Oh, okay. So it's right there. Oh. Okay. Roger Tannis, you big bad dog, you. The farmer's tissue. <laughs> yeah, I love it. We, You know what, friends? You know what I call it? I call it the snot slinger. Snot sling. That's what we call it. That's what I call it. Snot sling. And, and I think I found that, believe it or not, in the dictionary of slang. I think so. I'm, years and years ago. The snot slinger. I kind of like that. I like snot rockets too. I like that one a lot, actually. What the hell are we talking about snot rockets for, for crying out loud? Hey, 
Look at this axe. I've had this axe a long time. It was a gift. Listen to this. Have you ever have you ever had the pleasure, Joe? Joe Schoenhofer? Schoenhofer? Jake Schockenhofer? Jake, how's everyone doing? Jake Schockenhofer. Have you ever had the pleasure of having one of these axes in your hands? Friends, that's on a haft. That's on a freaking haft. That's ox head for you. Beautiful stuff. Beautiful stuff. Greg Ivy, I can. Yeah, I can for sure. This is a freaking beauty. Just a beautiful little axe, but it's a chopping axe, friends. You know what I mean? It's a chopping axe. Chop, chop. You know what I'm saying? Chop, chop. Uh. Okay, friends, I, I have to share something with you. Hey, I got to be quite honest. I'm liking my freaking hair. Look at that sunshine coming in there. <gasps> Ooh, <yeah. laughs> I'm digging my hair. I kind of like it. She was right. Just something different, right, friends? Yeah. Friends. Check this out. Look at this freaking axe. Just look at it. It's a Sager, single bit Sager. Look at it though. Be, be, get, get with me on this. Join me with the love. Look at it. Look at this freaking thing. It's been worn to hell right here. Of course, that's normally what happens. But isn't it beautiful? See that I've had this head for a long, long time. I used to have a lot of double bits. Hey, Nick the dumpster, how are you? Hey, BMK, it's the axe pimp. Dirty dog. Hi, Hogan. Mickey Mannix says hi. Hey, right on. Is Killinger here? I see Landfill saying hi to Killinger. Now there's a hell of a man. The Killinger. The killer. The killer Rosa. Sagers are beautiful. I love this axe. I'm thinking about making this my second banger, right? To go along with this one. You'll see this in the next video. Hey, just a minute. I'm going to do that again. You'll see this in the next video. <laughs> You'll see this in the next video. I love this axe. This axe is part of me. It's been to hell and back a couple of times with me. Look at this freaking sucker. Old school. This handle's been on here. It's one of those original home hardware handles. This is a freaking dandy. If I was going to design an axe, which I'm probably going to at some point. It would be tough. I think, oh, look at that Sager, friends. It was totally black, right? You guys know my style, right? You, you, know, what I'm, you know what I'm talking about. You do, and you do. Do you? I know you guys do. I do that to them. I don't like cleaning them right up. A classic buck and special, the snowman says. That's correct, my friend. So these would be my two bangers and I would have the Arvika behind the seat for big 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 timber big John oh I'm in such a good mood today I can't believe it I can't believe it friends why the hell not is what I say really <laughs> who's got questions I've been rambling my freaking gums off what did you guys think of that power saw Johnny Moore what do you think? Big buck. Alex. Alex. I'm going to try and answer some comments here. Decal. There's the decal. Hey, Mel Amo super chatted. Mel. Thank you, Mel. Decal. Thanks for letting me know. I didn't see that. I was probably rambling. Mel. Thank you. Whoa. Hey, what? Hey, just a minute here. Wait a minute. I'm seeing two super chats that, that, that are the same. What? Mel, was that you? you? You didn't, Mel, you didn't do the same as Sammy Dean, did you? Who did that? Sammy, that wasn't you again, was it? Who did that?
Blaze Brogan? Friends, who, who did that? Oh, Mel. Mel, thank you, Mel. I didn't see that. Mel, I love you, buddy. Thank you. What a guy. Mel, I didn't see that. Thank you so much, buddy. Thank you. Mel, you guys are killer. Thank you so much. And oh man, that thing screams, doesn't it, friends? Doesn't that harp scream? It's got a bad note. You hear that? Right there. It's got a piece of vodka stuck in it. Hi everyone, Troy the Tree Guys here. Yeehaw! Tree delicious. Tree licious. Tree tree delicious. <laughs> That's a good name, buddy. That's a great name. Time to quit the day job, Bucking. Harp can pay the bills. Oh, thanks, Victorious Victor. Yeah, I'll go sit on the corner. I'll sit on the Mac 105 as a seat. Uh, Daniel Atkins. No, there is not. Not We haven't. Uh, we talked about it a long time ago. We probably will do something. We're both so busy, but that's a good idea. I'd like to have him over here. You know what I mean? Maybe get him over here and fix something that I can't fix because he's good at that stuff. What do you think of that, Daniel Atkins? Do I ever listen to Johnny Cash? I will listen to Johnny Cash when he comes on the radio or the, or, or anywheres. I don't seek out Johnny Cash, but I sure don't turn the channel when he comes on. I'll tell you that right now. The man's a freaking legend. Nick Walsh is still laughing. What are you guys laughing at? <laughs> Mr. Walker's doing good. He's getting older. You know, he's 80 years old, friends. That's getting on. I love that man so much. Yeah, he's doing good. Buckenstock News. The Buckenstock News is, is that we are going to have uh, Decal and I and the Landfill Rat had a little chat yesterday. And we've, uh, what we're going to do, friends, is get up the basic information on the website within, I would think, within a week or two tops. Okay. Uh, I don't think that's putting too much pressure on, on decal. We all have lives as everyone knows everyone does, but decal is putting a lot of his own time in whoever was there last year. You can imagine what he did that man. We live a long, long ways away. So um, we have volunteers this year that want to help out. So we're going to have information come up on the website fairly quick to say it's in union, Michigan. Um, we're going to give distances between hotels. Like it's, there's hotels within 15, 20 minutes of the place. So it's all going to work out real well. Friends, this thing's going to be big. It's going to be big. We're planning on having, well, I can't really get too excited about it. 
until I hear from my friends. Yeah. Union, Michigan, September 6th, 7th, and 8th. Um, we're charging you something. We know that. We can't do that again next. We did that last year because it was the dry run. We don't know what we're charging you, but we're going to charge you something. So bring your wallets. <laughs> Lyle, thank you so much, buddy. Thanks for your support. You wouldn't believe, friends, you wouldn't believe what it goes to throw on an event. Different story if it's in your backyard like it was last year. Decal out of the goodness of his heart, put it in his backyard at his property. It's a different story this year, friends. It's it's it was such a hit last year. We decided to go again. It's a big, big ordeal. So your support is is so much appreciated in any way you can. So thank you all so much. Mel and Sammy Dean, thank you. Everybody who super chatted, thank you all so much. Timothy, the live chat is a blast. Oh, thanks, Tim. I have a good time too. I missed you guys. I tend to yell. I don't know why I yell. I tend to yell. I guess I could just sit there and talk, couldn't I? Yeah, so yeah, we've uh so I'm 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 building an axe. Uh, I'm building an axe. Um it's an old old head that uh, I found in a barn. Um and I'm going to refurbish and restore the old tool and, and give it another life. Uh, so I hope you all enjoy the content that's coming. Uh, if, if you do enjoy the content, uh, please let me know by giving me a thumbs up. And if, uh, if you haven't already subscribed yet, please do so. That's for sure. Take care of yourselves. And uh, we'll see you on the next video. Okay. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh. Bubba. Good to see you, Bubba. Backwoods Avery. Now, I know a man named Jason Avery. Justin Avery? Backwoods Avery. Now, what's going on there with that? William Berry, we love you too, buddy. Straight up. Straight up. John Brown from Scotland. Brother, how are you? Are there a lot of guys in your area doing tree work? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Absolutely. <clears throat> Lots. We grow up. Oh, there's Graham. Graham Holland. Graham. Yes, there is. There's a, a lot of fellas are doing it, especially in cedar. Every cedar boy cuts trees. Well, not so much anymore. Times have changed. People never used to want to live out here, but now they do because it's a beautiful place to live. Mark. Great to see you. Air show, mate. Blaze Brogan, how are the kids and the wife doing, buddy? How's everybody doing, Blaze, over there? I really like when you come on to my chats. I, I really enjoy seeing your name. Because when I see your name, I see those shiny little eyes of yours and that. I just like you. You're a good guy. That's all I can say. I just like Blaze Brogan. He's a nice fella. And he's a woodman. And he's a smart bugger. That blaze broken. Real smart. Sammy Dean. I dig those suspenders. Thank you, Sammy Dean. These are the only suspenders I can wear. The other ones fall apart in no time. Backwoods Avery. Grew up cutting trees. Right on. Hunting and fishing in the backwoods. Good man. Good man. Bucking, my son says you are great with the harp. Well, thank you, Daniel. I'm not bad. I'm a hack. I'm not a school musician in any way. <clears throat> not at all. And I play best when I'm by myself. Right, friends? We always do best when we're by ourselves, right? 
I did something to myself. I can feel it back there. Um, oh, uh, I have some Horners. But, but this one here, this Lee Oscar, that's a good harmonica. That's a very good harmonica. This one here, this is a lovely harmonica as well. I like these ones. I think this is a Horner. Blues harp. MS blues harp. Yeah, it's just a blues harp. And this one's really low down and dirty from the from the south. L listen to this one. Listen to this. <laughs> You know what I mean? It's down there. See, it's very low, you see. You know what I mean? Woke up this morning and I got down on my knees. Hook up to the Lord and said, help, help, help me, please. And I said, thank you. Rhinestone. It's the Rhinestone Cowboy. So yeah, I got the Horners and the Blues Harps. They, I like them. What is your favorite McCullough? The Fish Trap Hunter asked Buck and Billy Ray, what is your favorite McCulloch? My Super Pro 125. Hands down, without a doubt, just like Led Zeppelin is my favorite band of all time. Without a doubt. Thanks, George. Yeah. 125. They, they are, they are, I think I did a video. I brought out, I got my CP out the other day. I put it in my boy's hand. It's on freaking Instagram. Friends, go to my Instagram. Let's pump my Instagram up. If you haven't been over to my Instagram page, let's get that freaking thing rocking and rolling. I throw pictures and videos up there all the time. It's fun there. Let's go over there and pump that thing up. Let's take a look where it's at right now, shall we? I think we shall. Let's have a look-see-poo. Well, there's the rhinestone cowboy. There's Kirk Dunstan. There's Timber. Zachary. Billy Block says hi, friends. Decal. Hang on. Instagram, you guys doing okay? Check this out. Check this sucker out. Look at that. Where's my glasses, Bucking? They're right in your freaking hands. Talk to me about that. I look like a librarian, don't I? Oh, you're after the um, documentary of Billy Ray Smith. He's over in the left-hand corner, just left of the tree cutting videos be quiet there's some steadiers over there would you mind thanks and be kind to yourself buck and billy ray has fourteen thousand followers friends look where'd you go there it is check it out can you see that buck and billy ray's got fourteen thousand. there he is there's his instagram let's see if we can't show you that 125 with my son freaking going right off the hook with it are you guys into it? I am. 
There it is, right there. Watch his face. I think I see his face. <laughs> Look at it. Oh, here he goes again. <laughs> ah. You know what, Eric? I, I slip him the text once in a while, Two Man Jack. He's a he's a private fellow. He he really is. He's a quiet guy, very, very private. Uh he's a logger true and true. He he works on his big skitter and he's he's a logger. He's a good guy, real good guy. I like him. Hey boy, come on in. Oh, say hi. Hey friends. How's she doing? How's she going, boys? Yeah, me and Tyson are gonna go. Uh, getting into some trouble here. Are you? What are you doing? I don't know. Tyson's got to go hang out with his girlfriend and grab food in like an hour and a half. So okay, so we got maybe off into town or something. Okay, we're gonna keep some company for okay, the next hour. You tuck everything away. Yeah. Okay. Well, I mean, All right. I'm liking the uh, the, the system. It's cool. Good. You're getting used to it. Cool. Yeah. Good. Okay. Yeah. See ya. So he's he's on to this. Uh, He's on to this new system, right, friends? The client, he, he's, he's, friends, he's, he's getting into it. I'm not joking you. He comes in their living room last night. This is straight goods. Listen to what I'm telling you. I, I for a year, like, you know, for a good year or two, after he mumbled about maybe coming and doing it with me, I, I said, son, you got to get a, a piece of rope. You got to get some rope, sit in your room and learn the freaking knots, you know, and, and this and that, and, and just get, get yourself knowledge up. And when I ask you to pass me a rope, you're not struggling and looking at me, you know? So he didn't really have that in the beginning. Well, now he comes home yesterday with a freaking handsaw. He bought a handsaw. He bought a new Presic freaking slippy doopy things, stuff I don't know about. And he's, he's right into it, friends. He's, he's doing it. He's doing it. <laughs> I love it. Victor knows. Victor, you've seen a change a change in that boy, eh, Vic? What's he running? Four A system? Damon, I couldn't tell you. I, I, I honest to gosh, I couldn't tell you. I don't know. I don't know what it's called. If it's not a freaking taut line hitch and a freaking pressic loop, I don't know what it is. Siama Lee, how old is Hogan? He's 19, young. He's yeah, he's 19. Good kid. Good kid. Yeah, you got it, landfill. Isn't that funny? Hitch climber OS. What he oh, there you go. Victor knows what he's doing. He just bought something else home yesterday, Vic. I don't know what the hell it is. Dan Shirell. Now there's a nice fella. Jamie, Jamie Setchell. Jamie, we love you too, buddy. Thanks for being part of this community. This community has, friends, when I think about, why do you think I'm here every Sunday? Because I appreciate the living crap out of you people. It's plain and simple. That, that is what it is. It's Sunday, friends. Come on, let's think about it for a minute. I love you folks. I love coming here and seeing you folks. It's crazy. <laughs> thanks. Yeah, thanks, Russell. I appreciate it. I appreciate it. I know you do, Dan. I know you do, buddy. I know. <clears throat> Mr. Black947 almost forgot to hit the like button, he said. Look at how many likes we got, friends. See, now I'll tell you something right now. About 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes has passed since the last time I talked about thumbs up. 
I'll bet you I can count to 10 and we'll be at 360 before you know it. Come on. 10, 9, 8, 7. I'm getting scared. 6, 5, 4, 3. Oh, not looking good. Not this time, Bucking. Whoa. You see, you guys were just behind on that one. I'll let you go. But look at all the thumbs up I got over here on this side of the page. There we are, 361. Okay, I can handle that. I don't know what all this stuff does. It's supposed to be good for the channel or something. Keep up the great work. Eric, thank you. Bobby88. Thomas Cheeseman. Oh, I forgot to smash it. <laughs> I know. It's like that, isn't it? It's one of those things you just don't think about, do you? You get wrapped up in the freaking craziness. Just a sec. I got to go downstairs. <laughs> That's the oldest one in the book. Oldest one in the freaking book. The 365 is a good saw. Hugh 381. Big thanks to all the super chatters. Hugh, you're not kidding, my friend. You are not kidding. What a wonderful group of people. This stuff blows my mind, friends. It, it blows my mind where this channel has come. Friends, you know what we're going to do? I just figured it out. What the hell? I haven't even talked about it. I want this to go away. I'm going to tell it to go away. And it'll go away. You see, mind over matter. Go away. I got some good video coming your way, friends. Some good video. Have you guys seen the views on the videos lately? You know, in the last three videos? It's pretty good, friends. The channel's doing good. You people are awesome. Thank you so much. The main thing I want to thank you for is the pause of freakantivity in the channel, in the comment section. Do you guys remember hearing me talk about a giveaway axe? A 1946 Sager giveaway axe. Do you remember hearing me talk about that? What do you want to know about a fit? I haven't even touched it. It came to me this way. The man, it's Axe, Axe Addict Caleb. You know who I'm talking about? He's on the channel. He might even be here right now. Caleb the Axe Attic, are you here, buddy? Show your face. This is a nice axe, friend. Is that Kevin Duff? Kevin Duff, I love you, buddy. Kevin, how's your axe holding up, okay? Love the channel. Four acres and a farmhouse. Bucking can't stop watching. Hey, four acres and a farmhouse. Thank you so much, buddy. I really appreciate it. I really do. I never used to really worry too much about that stuff, friends, but this community has turned my brain around. It seriously has. The channel has grown so much, and I'm very proud of this community, how positive we are. All these positive people running around the world. Let's make it bigger and help people out more. Are you guys into doing that? Because I'm doing it anyways. I hope you're coming. That's a lifelong dream of mine. When I was a little kid, you want to hear something funny? It's not funny at all. It's actually quite serious. When I was a little kid, little kid, school, I'm talking like kindergarten, grade one, two, three, four, all that stuff. Okay, you want to hear something? I was so afraid. Do you remember? I'm 50. I'll be 50 in April. One month, I'll be 50 years old. <laughs> I'm looking forward to it. Never mind that. When I was a little kid, there was the Vietnam War. There was some other stuff. You know, there was some talk about wars. There was some, I, friends, I'm telling you right now, I was so scared. I didn't understand any of it. I was afraid. I was afraid of war and fighting, and, and, and I was just born a freaking lover, man. You know what I'm saying? I was. I was born with love. I don't understand even arguing. I don't, I don't get it. I don't understand it. 
It takes too much energy. So in saying that, there was a point, I forget what it was. Was it, what was I talking about before that? Who can help me out? Thanks, Famine Master. I forget what my point was, but oh, it was this channel. It was this channel about everybody roaming around, helping each other out and being kind. Yeah, that's what I, oh, no, this is what it was. I wanted to save the world. That's what it was. That's the secret. That's the funny thing I was going to tell you when I was a little kid. I wanted to save the world. Peace, world peace. I just, I was one of those little kids that just, can't we just all get along? You know that saying? That's truly who I was. That's who I am in my core. That's pretty cool, eh, friends? And now I'm gonna, through YouTube. You think I'm joking? We're gonna save the world, friends. We're gonna do it. We've already done it. Okay. This is the axe. This is the giveaway. Now... This is what I was thinking about. This is what I was thinking about. Tell me what you think. The day we pass Logger Wade in subscribers is the day we give this axe away. But I don't know how to give it away. Thanks, Tree Delicious. Thanks, buddy. You're damn right. I feel like I am, man. I feel like I'm helping. I feel good about it. This channel is everything to me. I never came on YouTube to say, hey, look at me. That wasn't my plan. Look at me. Look at me cut trees down. Ah, way to go. I cut trees down. It's a freaking power saw on a tree. It's, it's, it's what I do. It's not, that wasn't what it was about. It's about being kind. That's the message I want to spread. And I won't stop spreading it. You know, I thought about that, Brian. I, I I actually thought about that. You know, and he's got he's got one. I built him one. He's got an axe. So so what do you guys think? What what should we do? Let's think about this as a community, as a channel. I want to give this axe away the day we pass Logger Wade. And I know that sounds silly. Logger Wade's my good buddy. It's not a competition, it's just a big a milestone for me. I've been chasing him for five years. <laughs> hey, Bucking, you could perhaps give it away like the last vid. Uh, long, tall was. Yeah, I could do that. I could do that. Hi, Bobrinsky. How are you, buddy? Good to see you. I like that slogan. I like that slogan. We can all get along. That's a good one. I like it a lot. I'll start throwing it in the videos. Just a minute here. Just a minute. Let me see this. Troy Tree says, Buck, and let's have a new slogan. We can all get along. I like it. I like it a lot. Sammy Dean, three cheers for Buck and Billy Ray. Ha, ha, ha. Oh, Sammy, you're funny, buddy. <laughs> oh, Sammy. What a wild man you are. Put it on the hats. What does that mean? Three cheers. Hip, hip, hooray. Hip, hip, hooray. Yeah. Get on it. Decal. What did decal say? Did I miss something? Landfill. What did I miss? Isael. Is that how you pronounce your name? Isael? Put all the soldiers of kindness names in a hat and give the axe to one you pull out. Oh, 
do you mean uh, do you mean the messengers of kindness? Is is that what you mean, decal soldiers or the messengers? Is that what you mean, buddy? Or all 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 the subscribers? What do you mean, Duncan McDonald? Thank you so much. Duncan, you're a hell of a man. Thank you. And it will go there. That's where it's going. Thank you. I like that idea, Decal, but but I need... Oh, there he is. Messengers. Okay, that's a good idea. I'm going to do that. That's what we're doing. We're going to do it. I'll go to my PayPal because I've got all their names... The messengers of kindness, friends, the people that help the channel every month, those people, that's what we'll do. That's a hell of an idea, decal. Thanks. I'll throw them. I'll go to the PayPal. I'll throw their names in a hat and I'll draw a name out the day we pass Logger Wade, which ain't going to be long, friends. I like it. Thanks, decal. That's a great idea. That's what we're going to do. Let's see thumbs up if everybody agrees with that. Come on, let's have a community thumbs up. I think it's a pretty good idea. Decal, I think it is. Those people help this channel out every month on their own fruition. I think it's a good idea. There's Adam Evans. Get a coffee on me. I will. Thanks, Adam. <laughs> and then, friends, we got another, we got another giveaway coming up right away. Thank you so much for your support on that. I like it. Awesome. Good. You know what, Smelly? I might give him one anyways. I like that. Have you guys ever seen Logger Wade swing an axe besides hitting that freaking steel thing when he bangs wedges with it? Have you ever seen Logger Wade swing an axe or split wood? Come on, tell me. We better get him a split axe, eh? I think we better get him a split axe. Tell him to start splitting wood. No. <laughs> Let's do it. Okay, that's it. It's settled. I might even give him one too, friends. We might give Logger Wade one too. Hey? Yeah. Logger Wade and one one for the one of the messengers of kindness. I like that idea a lot. I love it, actually. I'm getting warm. <sighs> ah. So, friends, you guys doing okay? Everybody okay? You comfortable? Can I get you a tea? Yeah. I will send you my Norlin. You can do it up for him. Hey, cool. That would be awesome. Are you sure? That would be cool. That would be cool. Thank you. That sounds great. So friends, get this. This isn't the right. Here. There. This isn't the right cover for this. I take the covers that come off of these and I put them on my Pro Mac 1010s because I don't like these covers. I don't like these. They get in the way of the nuts. I don't like them at all. I bought this saw the other day for $100, okay? 100 bucks. A friend of mine phoned me up. One of my fallen buddies said, you collect old McCullers? I said, yes, I do. This is the most common 1010 you'll ever see right there. The carburetor was hooped. It was hooped. Check it out now. Friends.
See, that just that just makes me laugh. One hundred dollars, a ten ten, little fix up, a ticket the carburetor, the fix of the carburetor. The problem with the carburetor, friends. I took the carburetor off. I took a look at the diaphragm. And the diaphragm was fine, but the, the, on the other side of the pump, where the pump and the black and the little mesh and the pump thing was, the, the, there was a big thick gasket on there, and you put that under there. It was in the middle. It's not supposed to be in the middle. It's supposed to be on the top. I flipped it around, started the cord, and she fired up. She was running like an old Mac should. She's a screamer. I can feel something back there. good view here did I miss something Thomas did Thomas Lily just do something or something what happened fires going out oh geez. Hey, there's another, there's another uh, uh, axe I'm giving away. You know the fellow that gave us the uh, Tom Thomas Lely. Thank you, buddy. Tom, I can't wait to meet you. You better not pull out on us this year, Thomas Lely. Adam, yep, it's snowing. Maybe in a. You know, Mackenzie, it, it. I'll be quite honest with you. It is. It is the only wood I burn. Well, that's not true. I shouldn't say that. I do burn Arbutus once in a while. It's amazing wood to burn. But to be honest with you, friends, I think a lot of people... <laughs> here, here, here's my thoughts, friends. Fuel has something called BTUs, British Thermal Units, okay? Um, Douglas fir, if I'm not mistaken, I think somewhere in the 20... 2021 somewhere in there jason gilbert you crazy bugger you getting excited for buck and stock hope to meet a lot of you there love and kindness this guy's a wild man jason gilbert and his lovely girl friends you're gonna meet a nice man when you meet jason gilbert and his wife 
wonderful people. Wonderful, wonderful people. Jason, I love you, buddy. You're a good man. What the hell was I talking about? Douglas fir. How many BTUs in Douglas fir, friends? Come on, somebody Google that real quick. Talk to Siri. I'll do it. Is it 21? Somewhere there? 19, 21? Can somebody find that out? Hey, Siri. How many British thermal units in Douglas fir? Check it out. I think there's supposed to be a chart. Did you guys find it? 26. Oh, is it? Oh, is it 26 for fur? Is it that high? I didn't think it was that high. Here we go. Let's have a look. It is. It's 26.5. You see what I'm talking about, friends? People don't understand. Listen to this for a second. I, I hear people talk about Douglas fir is pine. Check it out. Douglas fir is not pine. Listen. You know how much BTUs pine's got? About 16 or 17. All species of pine are sitting right there. They got about 16 or 17. Friends, Douglas fir is a wicked burning wood. That's wicked burning wood. Balsam has 14 friends. <laughs> 14 for balsam. It's just crap wood. So friends, Douglas fir is absolutely smashing. It's beautiful, beautiful wood. Madrone, which is Arbutus, has about 30, I think. Yeah. Okay, enough of that, right? I'm, I'm just telling you, friends, Douglas fir is smashing. It's, 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 it's beautiful, beautiful stuff. It's actually magical, to be quite honest with you. Douglas fir is deep, deep rooted inside my core. I love Douglas fir. It's my favorite tree of all kind, of all times. I love the Douglas fir tree. They don't even know the freaking, um, they don't know the, the lifespan of a Douglas fir tree. They don't know. So anyways, what I was going to say is Douglas fir has 26. So that's a perfect BTU for our climate in the winter. You need heat. You got to throw heat. So you throw a piece of balsam in there. It don't heat nothing. It's crap. You see? I know, Marshy. I know, buddy. I know. And they rave about the, some of the stuff. And it's like, you know, I, I, I don't, I just love fur. It, it, I love it. And it's so plentiful here. And it smells so good. Oh, it's wonderful. I wish I could send you some pitch. I'm going to make a cologne, actually, called Doug. Yeah, I'm going to do it. It might even be at Buckingstock. Well, maybe I'll bring some pitch. <laughs> I'm not joking, you friends. I love that stuff. I'd give it one of these if I could. I smell like that half the time anyway. Actually, some of it's on some axes. Did you guys see this freaking thing? Did you freaking see this? It's, it's just beautiful. It's, it's literally beautiful. Saddle axe. There you go. Schlunk. Schlunk. Yep. 
Yeah, that's not going to work, Mike. Just so you know, in the videos, you will see the Buck and Stock Raven <laughs> flying around in the videos from time to time. You will see this axe. I'm going to walk up on I think it's probably going to be Saturday evening. I'll be cruising through the crowd. You know what I mean? Like this. Hey, how you doing? Hey, how you doing? Pretty good. It's been a long time since I've seen you last time. How are you doing? Pretty good. Hey. Oh, you like my axe? It's pretty good. Yes. You'll see this thing here. It's a nice axe. I'll catch you later. See you later. I'm just kidding. Here you go. It's yours. I'm going to give the freaking thing away at Buckingstock late Saturday. I'm going to do it. There you go. I don't need it no more. That's what we're going to do. Kevin Duff burned some hickory and he had to open the window. That stuff burns hot, doesn't it, eh? Yeah, she's got me, Wayne. She's got me, buddy. How long have we been going, friends? Hour and a half? Woo! Getting hungry. Look out for the French Canadian. I've got the people and I have the plan. <laughs> I love it. Life of Curtis. When you're cutting wood off your own property, sometimes you have to burn the trash. Yes, you do. Here's my suggestion. Hear me out on this. Are you listening, friends? Listen to what I'm going to say to you right now. At the start of winter, say, I don't know when it, you start burning, September, October, October, burn your crop wood in October, November. December. If it's really cold where you're at, save your good BTUs woods for January, February for the really cold months. Don't burn your good wood. Burn your burn your crap wood when it's not so hot or not so cold. Does that make sense? Yeah. Bingo, bucking bingo. Do you guys want to see how I stack my wood? Do you guys want to go have a peek and see how I stack my wood? I'm going to show you something. You want to talk about seasoning wood? Oh, my goodness gracious. Mackenzie, Mackenzie Grant just super chatted our channel, friends. Mackenzie, thank you, buddy. Thanks, buddy. I appreciate the hell out of you. Mackenzie, what a good guy. Mackenzie Grant. That's quite a name, friends, isn't it? Mackenzie Grant. I'm uh, auditioning for an acting uh, role. My name's Mackenzie Grant. Hoping to get my role in the 007 movie. Mackenzie Grant. <laughs> Mackenzie, thank you. Check it out, friends. Look it. Tell me, keep me up to date on the Wi-Fi. Look, here's my wood. Can you guys see what's going on? I'm taking you inside. I'm going to show you this. Every freaking, every space here. Oh, sorry, guys. See? Every space in my gate, there's a space in the wood. See that? You can see right to the end. Same with there. Same with here. So when the wind comes in, the wind comes barreling through there. See, we come in here. See, all these tiles, friends, see these? See that? It stands alone by itself. Is the Wi-Fi okay? Wi-Fi is good, guys? Gals, women, and children? Give me a quick yeah, because I've got to go back if there's no good. Wi-Fi good? Yeah. Yes, good. 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 Look. Look. See, right here, a space between every row, and then the gap ends up right in the space so that the wind comes rip-roaring through there. Huh? Oh, yeah. This wood will be seasoned in no time. And friends, 
harvest your firewood in the dead of winter if you can, in dormancy. Because all the sap and moisture is down in the roots, right? Yeah. Yeah. Do, do, do it in the, in the winter. Harvest your stuff in the winter. Here, let's go out here for a second. I got to show you something here. <laughs> here, let's go like this. Come on over here, look. Have you guys ever seen anything quite as beautiful as this right here? That's the song I just made up. Come on. I put a new bench in. Can't see very good in there, can you? <laughs> okay. All right. What happened? <laughs> Looks like we had some <laughs> some visitors. <laughs> I can always tell by the comments. <laughs> Hi, Bill. Um, <laughs> if if I could, if there was something that I could tell you, and you would have to listen to it, you, you just it was it was nature's law that you had to listen to what I told you. That would be quite a few things, actually. But don't just love yourself and, and don't 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 care what anybody thinks about you. James Ledemsma doesn't. Look at James. Did you fix your brakes? I just blew that brake line the other day. I'm gonna have a guy come. Oh, Neil's gonna come up. Yeah. Thanks, James. James is one hell of a man. I love James. Ten minutes on the ball. Hey, Farmer Rick, listen. Seriously, buddy, how's that going? Have you gotten stronger? Is it easier to put your shoes and your boots on in the morning and get in and out of the cars and the tractors and all that stuff? Just tell me straight up. Don't give me no malarkey. You can't tell me that if you're doing ten minutes on the ball that your life has not gotten better. That freaking ball saved my arsenic. It saved me. Friends, I'm not joking you about putting my boots on and taking them off and stuff like that. Farmer Rick knows what I'm talking about. Fergus. Fergus Hogan. Billy, you set me up for the week. I live it too. Good man, Fergus. Good man. Hi, Julie. Farmer Rick, you are the man. My wife thinks I'm mad. <laughs> the ball freaking saved me. It's that simple. My pain, my pain, uh, uh, what do you call it? When they ask you where your pain is at, one to 10 or whatever, it dropped. As soon as I'm talking years ago when I started doing this stuff. Amazing. All those little muscles, they're called stability muscles, friends. And they're down here. They're They're down. They're like, I'm not joking you, friend. They're not, they're not here. That that's not your core. That that's not your core. Your freaking core is like right across here. And when you get when you get on that ball and you do that 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 ball exercise, if you did it for a week and a half, two weeks, you, you'll you'll notice a difference. I'm talking about I couldn't put my boots on, friends. I couldn't put my freaking boots on after getting nailed. And I started doing that stuff and it helped me. Everything comes from the core. Everything comes from the core. I'm a mania, mania. Son of a... I'm going to be 50 years old, friends. 50. Oh, I'm looking forward. That's not all you got? 50, that's it? Come on. <laughs> I love it. 
Yoga. You got that right. I used to do yoga until I got smashed and I couldn't do it anymore. I should probably try again sometime. It was very beneficial. Very beneficial. So, friends, um, that's it. Can't tie the shoes. I'm doing it. Plum lucky. I, listen, buddy. Listen. We can't complain about something if we're not doing anything. Well, we can do whatever the hell we want. But I don't complain about nothing. I just don't do it. I'm not a complainer. But I can't complain about my sore back if I'm not doing anything to fix it. But some people like to complain. Some people, that's where some people live. That's where they live. That's where they get their attention and their 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 whatever. When they complain, negative. That's where they get it from. There's some kind of a payoff there. And they think to themselves, well, what happened if I don't have my back to complain about? What will happen then? I know that sounds crazy, but it's the truth, friends. It's the truth. I'm rip roaring today, aren't I, friends? I'm on a freaking, I'm on a run today. I'm getting hungry, though. I'll tell you that right now. Hey, as a matter of fact, James Ledemsma, thank you for just reminding me. Friends, I'm doing this right now. There's some stuff I want to start doing on the channel. And I want to start picking a channel. I don't know about once a month. Maybe once a month. We'll see. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, Rick. Farmer Rick, thank you, buddy. There's a channel. There's a guy. He's got no arms. He's got no arms. He's called the harmless farmer, I believe. Is that right, James Ledemsma and Farmer Rick? You know who I'm talking about. I received an email the other day. This guy's only got about 3,000 subscribers or something like that. You should see the stuff this man does. I think we should go over and see him and tell him we came from Buck and Billy Ray's channel. Give him a shout out. That would make his freaking day, friends. Is he called the the um it's the harmless farmer? It is. Yeah. See, a lot of you guys already know who he is. He's a great guy. He's building his YouTube channel. Let's freaking help him build it. He's got no arms, friends. He drives tractors and feeds animals and does all kinds of stuff. You think you've had a bad day? Go over and see that guy. The channel's name is The Harmless Farmer, I believe. That's the name of the channel. Who knows the name of the channel? Let's get it squared away right now. James Ledemsma. Farmer Rick, you know the name of that guy's channel, don't you? I think it's The Harmless Farmer. That's the name of the, uh, of the uh, yeah, it's The Harmless Farmer. It's amazing. The guy's incredible. Actually, I just got received an email a few days ago about that. Let's go over and see him, friends. Let's go over and see him. He'll be very grateful for the subscribers. And he's worth every freaking subscriber out there. Yeah, there you go. Let's check it out, friends. Bones, you taking off? Hey, there's Justin Blanchard. Just subscribed. Good man, Life of Curtis. Let's go over there and subscribe the living hell out of this guy. He's a great guy. He deserves it. The harmless farmer. That's going to be fun. So, friends, I want to start helping out other channels like that now and again. But I got to go in and see them, right? I have to go look first. There was another fellow that asked about it. I think it was the TV... Uh, uh, are you still here, buddy? Remember you asked for a shout out from your from your channel? Oh, there's the link right there. I think that's the link. Yeah, there you go. There's the link. It's coming up. Perfect. Yeah. Let's go see him. Let's blow him up. <laughs> that's going to be fun. Yahoo! The 
harmless farmer to Buckenstock. Yeah, that's cool. So that, that's another thing that I want to do, friends. I want to go in. But listen, if you want to know the truth of it, I'm so freaking busy putting content together for you guys and feeding my family. For me to scope around on YouTube, I, I'm busy building videos for you guys is what I do when I'm on YouTube. 3.30 in the morning, I go on, I do, uh, uh, oh my goodness gracious, MV landscape and snow removal. Five, love your videos, be the hero, Bucken. No time for excuses today. Right on, buddy, love you. Hey, Matthew Gratland. Matthew, I caught you today, buddy. Matthew, you're a hell of a man. Thank you so much, buddy. Let's thank the super chatters, please. I want to thank these people. Matthew, you're very consistent. You're one hell of a guy. Thank you, buddy. I appreciate that. And MV Landscape and Snow Removal. He just gave us a super chat, friends. Let's thank him. <coughs> Gosh darn it. You got to be in the right space for music. Do you understand what I'm talking about? Does anybody out there play music or play an instrument? You've got to be in the right space. You can't be too worked up. You've got to be in the groove, man. People ask me, why do you make that face when you drum? Oh, yeah, because that's how it goes, man. That's what it's like. You know what I'm talking about? It's called feeling, man. Feeling. I live by my feelings. Just subscribe to Harmless Farmer. I like that. That gives me a good feeling. Uh, feeling good. Right on. That guy's going to go, what the hell happened? Good job bucking for the Harmless Farmer. No joke. Thank you for reminding me, James Ledemsma. It was you that did it. The nail bender. That's right. You did. I remember you telling me that before. Can anybody guess what I got in my pocket? I don't have redwood trees here, fella. Sawdust is a good... Sawdust is a good call, but no, I have something else in my pocket. That's a good, scrunch is a good try too. A knife, not bad. Dollar, not bad. Not right though. Come on, you guys, you know better than this. No. Come on, you guys. Ah! <laughs> Victor knows. Hey, Victor. On the next video, I show you hanging that fir tree up in the crotch of that cedar. <laughs> the key to the McCulloughs. Cool, Mountain Man. Cool. Bones. 
Whoa, Keen Edge Survival just super chatted. Keen Edge, you crazy bugger. Thanks, Keen Edge. Yeah. Thank you, buddy. What a hell of a guy. Thank you, buddy. Keen Edge, you're a good man. I appreciate that. So you see what I had to make? You see that? It's because some of those Macs, some of those Macs, the carburetor, when you change a carburetor out, sometimes it's a different carb and it has the jets down lower. So I got to go in and turn it. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah, I know you do. Thanks, Ke oh, Keen Edge. What a guy, right, friends? What a, what a crazy thing. Look at this. Andrew, Andrew Mac McIntosh. Andrew, thank you, buddy. You got a freaking tuxedo on, Andrew. Is that a tuxedo? You look sharp, buddy. Thanks, Andrew. Andrew McIntosh. What a guy. Thanks, bud. I appreciate that. Mr. McIntosh. Is it McIntosh or McIntosh? Andrew. Thank you, guys. Super Chatters, you're awesome. What a help. Andrew. McIntosh, kilt, yeah. Oh, he's got a kilt on, I love it. McIntosh. Hey, hang on a sec. Who goes there? We have a special guest. You guys, I want you guys to give her the biggest welcome. You need a hat, man? How much you got? Decal's watching. Decal was saying, I picked up a hitchhiker, friends. Hi. Hi. How are you? Good. Good. You got everything you need a hand packing? Girl? I'm good, thanks. Okay. It's my wife. <laughs> <laughs> She's awesome. I love her. You see her smile? Her freaking face. She's amazing. Yeah. Oh, you're coming here too. Get in here, you. There's my kid. There's my other kid. Yay. <laughs> Your mom just came on and smiled and said hi. Uh -huh. <clears throat> What's happening? Not much. No. Camera makes me look weird. Like it's all backwards. Well, it's, yeah, it's the way they, I don't know why they do that. It's kind of funny, but I, I think everything's normal. Hello, Rita. Nailbender. Hi, Miss Rita. Hello. Pretty cool, eh? All these, lots of these people are coming to Buckenstock. Where'd you get your shirt? Oh, yeah. My new sweater. Look at our new sweater. It says camo. It says you can't see me. That's funny. <laughs> Did you? Yeah. Yeah, I love you. Bye. Bye. Thanks for coming in, guys. Okay, get this. Seriously, get this straight up goods right now. Straight goods. Straight freaking goods. Those people, when I opened up this YouTube channel, they were chuckling at me. They were they they were laughing at me because I spent lots of time on it and they're just like, oh, whatever. For her to come and say hi like that, that's huge. Wendy told me, I don't want nothing. Whoa, there's snowman. I want these coffee and donuts to go to the Axe program. To the, to go, the Axe program. Good looking family bucking. Hey, thanks, snowman. Thanks, buddy. What a guy. Thanks, snowman. Say hi to your boy for me and your brother, okay, bud? What a guy, snowman. Not the kilt below. Ah, yeah. True Scotsman. Andrew, buddy, I'm I'm happy that you're here, buddy. Thanks, Kurt. My kids, yeah, my I'm 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 blessed. My my kids, they, they like me. They happen to like me. I thought that's pretty cool. <laughs> okay, friends, I gotta go to the woodshed. Hang on. We've been going for two freaking hours. I'm, we're gonna go for another couple minutes and then I'm gonna go. Josh super chat at a 20 spot. Whoa! 
Victor, thanks for telling me. Josh, Josh, I missed your super chat. Thank you, buddy. Friends, did we thank Josh and Victor? <laughs> thanks, you guys. Give me a sec. I got to get a chunk of firewood. Hey, hey, James Ledemsma, thank you. Friends, listen, on a serious, as serious and as sincere as I can be, thank you. Th thank you so, so much, all the super chatters. Seriously, thank you. I, I don't take this stuff lightly at all, friends, at all. I mean it. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Do you guys remember me splitting that old growth in the yard? Does anybody remember when I had that old growth in the yard? This stuff's nuts. So you guys, you must, um, you guys must like the, the, the laptop better than the cell phone. Would I be correct in thinking that? Would, would you guys think so? Oh my goodness. The coffee fun from TD crazy TD. I love you, buddy. Thank you, buddy. Thank you. Thumbs up for everyone going to Buck and Stock 2019. Thumbs up for that damn right. That is awesome. Andy, new sub here. Hey, the, hey there's the harmless. <laughs> right on, buddy. Yeah, good man. Woo! Hey, listen. Harmless. Your name's Andy. My brother's name's Andy. And I want you to listen. I want you to listen to me. I want you to listen to me close, Andy. Everybody gets a hand up when the time is right. I've had a hand up. Logger Wade gave me a shout out when I was just brand new. I had 652 subscribers, Andy. And Logger Wade gave me a freaking shout out and it helped me. And then... um. August Honeykey gave me a shout out too, and it helped. And I love to help. And someone emailed me about you the other day, Andy. So I went to your channel and I looked at your channel and I love you, buddy. I love you. I'm not going to sit here and, and blow smoke up your can about what you can get done with what you got, because you already know that you're an amazing human being. You, you don't need to hear that from me. Because you know I can already see that in you. But I wanted you to, I can see I watched you at the end of your videos and that you were sincere and that you wanted to grow your channel. I had the feeling that you were, you know, you were interested in having more people come to your community. And that's why I'm doing that. I'm picking a, I'm picking a channel every once in a while and I want to shout them out. And you're the recipient of that today, Mr. Andy. And we love you here, buddy. So thank you so much, bud. Welcome to the community. <laughs> I love it, guys. Thanks, everybody. We did it. I love it. This is the amazing part. This is the part I came to YouTube for. This is why. Not because you could watch me cut down trees and go, wow, that guy's cool. That's not why I came to YouTube. 
This is why I came to YouTube right here. This is the reason. You got her, buddy. You got her. I love it. You got it, snowman. You got that right. Let's all give that man a welcome, friends. Let's all give that man a welcome, that Andy fella. TD, Buckenstock Fund. Whoa, no thanks needed. Love everyone and every... Whoa. Holy smokes, the Swede. Look at the Swede. Ice cream cones all the way around. <laughs> yeah. Thanks for all you do. Keep it up. Oh, Nick, my buddy. Thank you, Nick. This is this has been one of the coolest live feeds, man. Having you guys come here and just BS with one another. Now the party's on. Hey, Nick, you're a freaking wild man. Thank you so much to the Super Chatters again. Friends, okay, I think this is a little bit of a... a uh, friends, we got 45,000 some freaking subscribers. Did I, did I say that already? We got 45,000 freaking subscribers. That means Andy, the harmless farmer, you would think he would have a few more subscribers today. Old Andy, the harmless farmer. Um, we've got 430 thumbs up. Friends, that's pretty sweet. Is there anybody sitting out there that hasn't thrown the thumb at this thing yet? This has been a wicked freaking live feed. I don't care who you are and where you're from. That's a nice axe head. Actually, you want to see a real nice accent? Okay. I need your help with this. Let, let's engage, shall we? Let's engage in some uh, engagement. Who knows what this means? 45,000. I know, TD. Isn't that crazy? I know, bud. Who knows what the hell this means? I think I do. You know what that is, don't you? Colin, it is, isn't it? It's the New York City Railroad, isn't it? I can't believe it, friends. I can't freaking believe it. Well, I put it together. Whoa, battery's running low. Got to plug in. 911. Emergency. Remember Beaker from the Muppets? <laughs> anyway, back to the axe. Uh, big shout out to Jeremy Bell for the saw mod. Can't wait to get my... Hey, listen. Friends. Jeremy Bell's got three saws of mine already. He sent me one. He's sending me two back probably within the next week. I was hoping maybe tomorrow or the next day. Ha, <laughs> Jeremy. I'm putting the heat on him now. I want to run them suckers. Um, we, we've, made, we've made a couple saws go pretty, pretty nice here. Friends, those yellow ones, like here, I'm just going to show you something. 
I can't take you outside because you're going to freaking die. Let's see. Oh, no, I can't. I can't unplug you. I can't do it. Okay. This isn't for everybody. This isn't for everybody. But I'm telling you right freaking now, when you come to Buckingstock, I would say there's going to be about 50 of these things here. And we're going to run the suckers. And we're going to file them. And we're going to see how the filings go through stocks. We're going to have stock ones. We're going to have modified ones. We are going to have one hell of a good time. Now, friends, 100 bucks, 100 dollars. Okay, I run 28 inch bars on my sauce. Okay, that's what I do. I run 28s. That's just what I do. A good size bar for these is a 24 inch bar. Now, if you want to buy a good bar and modify it, you can't find a, a McCullough bar, buy a small gauge bar for the 357s, the 346s. It's Husky mount, small mount for Husky. Take your adjuster. I think you got to flip the adjuster upside down in the, in the side cover. I think. It's been a while. Friends. <laughs> Those things are fun. They're just fun. Snowing like crazy in Pennsylvania. Thanks, James. Harmonica. Calabas Wappen. Calabas Wappen. Harmonica. Yeah, they're fun, man. Those harps are fun. I like blowing them. Logger jig hippie dance. Yeah, that was a little combination. Thanks, James. Power saws. Yeah. CCM. Hey, Bucken. How you doing, buddy? Who's here? Oh, it's my boy. My boy's back. Right on, BD. DB Cooper's back. Good man. It smells nice in here. That old two-stroke smells good. Anyway, friends. Live love from Holland. Ricardo. No way, buddy. How are you? Ricardo. Good to see you, buddy. I love it. There's Bob T saying, hey there, bucking. Hey to you, Bob T. Nice to see you. Thanks for popping in. Plum Lucky. Thanks for the coffee, Hogan. The kid's, the kid's on fire. He's on fire. Hey, Hugh, you know what? That's pretty cool, eh, buddy? You're welcome. Thanks, Billy, for showing the light. Shine on, buddy. Yeah. My pleasure, Hugh. Hugh, I think about you all the time, buddy. I do. I think about all my friends in the UK. Mikey Yo-Yo. He's working. He says, hi, friends. He couldn't make it today. Hugh381 has been a major support to this channel, friends. Uh, AJ Chainsaws, Axe and Saws, AJ uh andrew i call him aj um all my uk friends I, you guys have just been massive for this channel so hugh i love you buddy and you know that what a guy ricardo i'm good thank you i'm very good i feel good today i'm in a good mood the shoveling video was epic <laughs> 
I dreamed about shoveling that night. Yeah, that was a lot of shoveling. No doubt about it. I'm just grateful I still have my physical being. I'm a very physical person. And I almost lost it. And that, that was hard. That was hard. I'm, I'm nowhere near the man I was before I got hit. Let me tell you. That may sound funny to you. But it's no joke. It's no joke. Ah, Tony McCausley. Rolling what parts of VA? Oh, cool. Right on. I love when you guys get to BSing with one another. I think that's so cool. Chris Miller, love you, buddy. Awesome. Yeah, I got a couple stills, Terry, but not not many. I, I don't run still. I I run stills. Um, I run the uh, um, sorry, the little top and saws. You know, the two hundreds, two hundred T's. I got a couple old stills, like an 050 and 051, the old big ones, you know. I just because they're special saws. <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry for the sniffles, friends. It's leaving, though, I can tell. We love you, too. Jamie, we love you, buddy. Thank you. So here's the deal. I want to talk to you about something. I'm making axes, right? I want to bring some to buck and stock. It's going to help pay for our flights out that way, you know? There was a fella who offered some, uh, a really, a, a nice, nice man. I and, and I'll be honest, with all the craziness going on, I've actually forgot who that man is. And if he's watching right now, I apologize. But what he did is he offered up his... Um, his air miles, friends, for us. But we would have to fly out of Seattle, which is a possibility. Um, we just don't know if we can do it. But um, what a freaking guy. You know what I'm saying, friends? Um, I still want to check into that. But I've forgotten who it is. And I feel awful about it. But if you knew what, I just forgot. That's all. He's probably not watching. Friends, I'm piddling around making axes the other day. I've had this axe for three years. It's all about John Ralston. Johnny, it wasn't you, was it? Johnny, it wasn't you. I know it wasn't. It couldn't have been Johnny Ralston. Johnny got your axe. Johnny got his axe. Johnny Ralston got an axe. Johnny, was that you? <laughs> See, I don't know. I've forgotten. Friends. Look at this little axe. Johnny Ralston, it was Johnny. Offer still stands. Johnny Ralston, it was you. I was afraid to say I felt so bad that I forgot Johnny. John, Johnny, could you email me please again? What happens? This is what happens to me, friends. My email box, it fills up like so fast. Then I get a notification from the freaking whoever has my email and they say, you have too many emails, your box is full, you need to whatever. So I, I delete them and I don't, I'm not good at that stuff. So John, please email me again. Thanks, Johnny. What a guy, John Ralston, friends. Offered up some, some freaking air miles for my family. What a guy. Friends, check this out. Can you see this? Can you can you see this little axe? Look, look, look at how neat that is. Isn't that a beauty? It it's a little boy's axe, friends. It, it it's a beautiful little boy's axe from Sweden. And I've had the head sitting here forever. And I just thought. It's all about the right handle, friends, right? I don't just go get a handle and grab an axe head and put it on. And even if it looks like crap, I put it on. I don't do it. I freaking got six handles, six heads laying out. It's all about balance for me. I can't, I can't have it. I bet you, I bet you right now I could grab five axes, five, and go like this with them. And I bet you, I bet you every single one, every one will be anywhere from right there. To three inches back right there within that area right there. 
I'll bet you every single one. Mountain Man. Mountain Mac, Eric, Eric Carr. Oh, he's got his phone number on there. Right on. <laughs> I love this place. <laughs> Excuse me. Uh, sorry, Rodney, did you ask a question? I, I'd like to answer. It looks like TD answered it for you. Could you ask it again? TD, what was he asking about a 32, 36 with a skip? What was that? What was that um, question? Let's talk power saws for a second, shall we? Let's do it. I'm into it. I like power saws. I got a couple steals. James Ledensma. Patrick. Mr. Porteous. What, what bar size to run on a Pro Max 700? Ah, yeah. Well, it depends. It 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 depends on on you know. I find the twenty eight to be a real nice size. I mean, you got to watch it when you push it with those. I mean, I've got a Pro Max seven hundred. It, it's a great saw. It'll it'll pull a longer bar, but you got to ask yourself how much more do you need. Um, depends on what you're cutting. I, I I'd be careful with that. Um, I, I don't find my Pro Max 700 to be particularly crazy. I, I have a, a 28 on it, and that's what I run on it. Uh, it seems to like it. Um, I haven't really tried anything longer because I enjoy the, the power that it has with that. Um, yeah, yeah, but I've got other saws, right? I got those, those 372s, and nothing compares to those and those Dalmars with a 32. But I'm sure, you know, uh, I don't know what TD said. Did he say you could run a 32? I, I wouldn't run a 32 on a on a, on a a Pro Max 700. Personally, I wouldn't do that. Uh, if I had to, I would. Oh, TD's got a 28. Pardon me. He's got a 28. Yeah, I, I would go 28. You know, I run 28 on the Pro Max just because I, I don't like bending down, friends. And they can handle it if you file it right. Where the hell did we go here? We went away from something. Yeah, Dolmar 7900. That's a hell of a saw. Okay, Tony. Uh, Tony, that's a good question. Um, I talk about that a lot in my videos. Um, friends, Tony's asking about uh, compression and tension cuts. I'm going to tell you something right now. Remember this or write it down. Compression is pinch. Tension is blow up. Compression, compression is pinch. Just remember that and take it first. Always take your compression first. So here's the deal. You got a tree. It fell down and it's sitting on a rock bluff like this. And, and there's the top of the tree out there. There's nothing underneath it. Where's the compression? Compression, right? So that's the compression cut is underneath. So you don't just want to cut the top of the tree. You want to cut on the bottom. That's the compressed part there. Cut on the bottom first. I don't care if it's this far in the tree. It's only going to let you go so far and then it's going to pinch your saw. Take your pinch first. Always compression. Well, always is kind of fantasy, but most of the time. Take your compression, then finish it up on top. Put a little V-cut in those. It helps a lot, a lot, because it closes and travels. If you just put a nick in it, it's going to close right away and still have kind of chance of doing 
different things. Grabbing your saw, perhaps. Splitting. Depending on how compressed it is. Oh, Rusty, you got it back together waiting on it. Oh, no way. Right on, Rusty. Good deal. Good deal. Friends, Obuck and Billy Ray's got to think about going now. Two and a half hours we've been rolling. You know what we need to do here? This is what we need to do. <laughs> you see this? I did a little video with a six pound maul and a six pound ax, kind of doing them together in that, that wood out there. Yeah. This is an Elwell from 1913. It's six pounds, friends. This is a six pound ax. Remember we talked about this a couple weeks ago? Got out early, Bucking. Catch you next time, brother. Thanks. Hey, right on. Hey, Keen, Keen Edge Survival. Thanks so much, buddy, for your being here. Thanks for your super chats, buddy. Hey, Steve Reen, this is a monster, my friend. You're going to be seeing a lot of this axe because I'm going to take it out in the wood and play around with a maul, a six-pound maul, and show you the difference. Mauls are great. Don't get me wrong. I'm, I'm, I'm pro maul. It's just I'm an axe guy. These were the contenders right here. Well, friends, it's been a hell of a conversation we've had today. Friends, I want you to do one more thing before we go. Let's see what we can take care of with these, uh, these thumbs up. Anybody who hasn't done thumbs up, lay it down because Buckin's got to go. We're starting a week. Monday, we're starting a brand new week. We know what to do. We know what to do. Let's practice gratitude this week. Let's be grateful for everything that we got. We've got no freaking reason to be ungrateful. I don't know about you. I don't know what you got going on in your life. I don't know. I know what I got going on in my life, and I thank him every freaking day in advance. So let's all be grateful. Let's thank everybody. Let's be kind. No matter what happens, friends, people are going to get under your skin. They're going to get on your nerves. It's your choice if you want to engage or if you just want to smile and wave. You've got the energy. You do what you want with it. I don't have that kind of energy. I want to be kind. I want to help people. That's what we're going to do here at this channel. Andy, welcome to the community. I'm glad you're here. You're a worthy man. You're an amazing man, actually. Absolutely amazing. Friends, I want to thank the Super Chatters real quick in the comment section here. Let's do it. Let's thank the Super Chatters. Let's do it. They help this channel out majorly. It's huge. It's crazy, actually. I can't believe it. Thank you to all the Super Chatters. Welcome to the new subscribers. How many subscribers have we got, friends? I can't see. What's the subscriber count at today? Welcome to the new subscribers. Thank you to the Super Chatters. We got 45, 45,000. <laughs> Soldiers of kindness. Thanks, everybody. Wow. Amazing. Holy cow. Rick, Devil's Luck Farm. Cool, Rick. Thanks, buddy. 45 we got. Very cool. I can't believe it, friends. I honestly can't believe it. I love all you people out there. I love every freaking one of you. 
Thanks for coming to the community and being part of this special thing. I think about this thing every day. It's so special to me. It's so special to me. We're making big plans for Buck and Stock. We're working on it. It's going to be amazing. There'll be some stuff on the website within a week or two about when, where, costs, perhaps. They'll be up there. We'll get that up as quick as we can. <laughs> oh, I love it. Look at these guys. Love it. Thanks to all the super chatters again, everybody. Sammy Dean, you're a freaking wild man. Mel, I love you, buddy. Thank you. Friends, I'm off to see my family. I love you guys all. Have a great, great night. I got a video coming up for you right after the live feed. I'm going to hit you with a dandy. Don't go too far from your computer. There's going to be one coming at you right away. Over and out. Love you guys. <laughs>